Hi! In this mini-series of three episodes, I will teach you how to create a basic map with Map Libre. In this first episode, I will show you how to add a map with a marker to your web page using the Map Libre GLJS library. In the following episodes, we will work with simple geometries, such as points, lines, and polygons, in the GeoJSON format, and we will change our styles and add pop-ups. We will start using the Sublime Text Editor, or you can use any other editor that you like. Links to the software and websites I'm using are in the description below. The first thing we do is to create a basic HTML structure with the head and body sections. Then, we need to include the map libre to our code. We can do that by adding the JavaScript and CSS files to the header of our HTML document. To do this, go to MapTiler Cloud and select a map. Under the available vector styles, choose Map Libre GLJS, and from there, example, take an example code head and copy the link and script. Then we create the div element in order to set the map ID and then style our map. Next, we can add a CSS rule for the div, which holds the map, signified by hashtag map. This sets our map to the full screen setting by putting it into the corners with absolute positioning. And now we can start writing our script. First, we will create the instance of map libre library class by calling map libre gl map constructor. The constructor accepts four parameters, the container selector, in our case, map, the URL of the map style we want to load, the center coordinates, and the zoom level. The container selector should have the same value as the ID in our div element. To get a link for a map style, go back to MapTiler Cloud. There, choose or create a map and then copy and paste the JSON style of that map. The center parameter defines the center point of the map using longitude and latitude coordinates. And finally, zoom is related to the map scale and basically defines how close our view is to the surface of the Earth. And don't forget to add the attribution to your map. You can simply copy it from MapTiler Cloud and add it to the paragraph under div element with map ID. To add a marker, we will create a new variable named London using map libre gl marker constructor. Next, we set its longitude and latitude and add it to our map. Now you know how to add markers to a map with Map Libre. Don't forget to subscribe and look out for our next episodes where we will show how to add points in GeoJSON format and change their icons. Bye bye, and until next time.